So Ryzen 10,000 along with a killer new AMD GPU is set to release, but before I get to that, I have some of the best deals ever and AMD's new monster CPU gets benchmarked and pricing. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, it's officially Amazon's Prime Day sales event. And honestly, this is the best Prime Day event for PC hardware that I've probably ever seen. So I'm going to go over some of my favorites and I'll have links to the specific page for computer components on Prime Day, which is sort of hard to find. And I'll also link to everything I discuss. They'll all be down in the description below as affiliate links, which means they don't cost you anything more and it helps the channel channel out. So right off the bat, I'm just going to go ahead and say CPUs, because tons of CPUs are on sale right now, including both AMD and Intel's newest chips. I'm talking the 9950X, AMD's newest 16 core beast is over $200 off right now. Then their very popular 7800X3D is currently 24% off right now. Then the 9950, the newest 9950X3D, yeah, it's not that much off, only 5%, but still, this is a very new CPU. Then the 9900X3D is also 5% off. Even the ever popular 9800X3D is a few dollars off. Then we have Intel's brand new Core Ultra 7 265K. This is a whopping 36% off. Like I said, CPUs right now are having some incredible deals. Moving on, we have the 8TB WD Black. This is a PCI Express Gen 4 M.2 SSD, and it's currently 38% off. Once again, that is 8 terabytes. Next up, we have simple 32 gigabytes of GDDR5, 6,000 megahertz. This is, of course, very good for AMD's Ryzen CPUs, especially the newest couple generations of chips. 6,000 is the sweet spot, and it comes with support for AMD's Expo, and this one is 27% off, just $76.99. Next, we have an MSI Mag 750 watt 80 plus gold ATX 3.1 power supply, fully modular, just $79.99. Moving on, we have the HyperX Cloud 3, an incredible wired gaming headset. This is currently 30% off for just $69.99. And finally, we actually have a CPU combo deal. It's almost unbelievable. So this comes with a Core Ultra 7 265K, as well as an MSI Pro Z890P Wi-Fi motherboard, but not just that, it also comes with an MSI Mag. This is an AIO value of $110, as well as the Intel motherboard bundle. This is Star Wars Outlaws Gold Edition. Then you have the Intel CPU Spring Bundle, so Civilization 7 and Dying Like the Beast, all of those, those are actually free, and then all of those are combined for just $389.98. I honestly think this is one of the best bundles that I've seen in quite a while right now, so if you want to check that out, as well as any of these that I discussed, once again, check those out down in the description below. And next up for today, we have some of our first benchmarks for AMD's upcoming Threadripper 9000 CPUs. And honestly, they're really impressive. With that said, the main thing I want to focus on here is pricing. But before I get to it, let's quickly discuss that performance. As you can see right down here, this is the Ryzen Threadripper Pro 9995WX, which is their highest in 96 core beast. And this was tested on Geekbench 6, and in single-threaded score, it got 2,800 points, and then in multi-threaded, it got 30,170. And when we compare that to last-gen 7995WX, you can see that there isn't a major uplift over that generation in single-threaded, but... When it comes to multi-threaded performance, we're actually looking at an increase of 22%. And given the fact that this has the same amount of cores as the 7995WX, that's honestly pretty impressive. But like I said, the main thing I want to focus on here is pricing. So we have one of our first early listings, and you can see that it's 12,299 euros. 
but I will go ahead and say that this is early pricing. So I'd expect it to be more around the $10,000 price point when all things are said and done, maybe a little bit more, but that's actually essentially the same price as the 7995 WX when it was released. With that said, it seems like a lot of people don't really know that because they're sort of freaking out about this pricing. And it is understandable, it's wildly expensive, but I'm actually of two minds when it comes to this. For one, AMD, if they do become a monopoly here, they more or less already are, but if they become one and stay one for a little bit longer, they absolutely are going to become like Intel in the fact that their pricing is gonna be completely absurd because, well, they have no competition. And you're gonna see this with literally any company. The simple fact is that it works by supply and demand. That is the market. And to be honest, I like to use this analogy where even you, whenever you go on eBay to sell something, do you sell it for the second highest bidder, the third highest bid, the 10th highest bid? No, you only take the highest bid. That is how all of this works. And if AMD doesn't have any competition, as long as people are willing to pay the price, they can more or less name that price. But I'm gonna argue that at least as of now, and in this case, it has not gotten to that point. A lot of people are trying to make comparisons of this to Intel and when they more or less had a monopoly and are basically saying this is like way worse. But if we actually, as an example, look over here, this is Intel's first generation of their Xeon Platinum processors. And it launched in Q3 of 2017. And it launched for an unbelievable customer price of $10,009. And it only came with 28 cores and 56 threads. Now, you might be thinking, yes, but that was all the way back in 2017. And you're right. That was before the absurd inflation happened. All these other issues that caused prices to massively go up. So, so if we compare it to this even $12,000 price point for a 96 core beast, that's honestly pretty impressive. That's really not bad at all. And it absolutely destroys Intel's products. Not only that, but think about just how big this chip is. I mean, it's massive. Think about all the silicon it takes to make it. So to be completely honest at this price, yes, while it is still absurdly high, it really isn't anywhere near as bad as what people are thinking. And lastly for today, AMD's gearing up to release the mother load. I've obviously discussed leaks concerning AMD's next-gen CPUs. We'll call them Ryzen 10,000 for now, but who knows what it'll ultimately be called. We are talking Zen 6. Don't forget that AMD is bringing more cores, better IPC, and if one leak is right, a gigantic boost in clocks. We're talking high 6 gigahertz, even nearing 7. So yeah, I'm definitely excited for next-gen. And luckily, it looks like I won't have to wait too long because within a new 80 64 software update, they added support for a couple new things. And of course, ADA64 is a long-running software that absolutely works with AMD directly. So according to the update, they added preliminary support for AMD's Zen 6, not only server and mobile, but also desktop. Not only that, but they also added support for a new GPU. You can see that they have the new AI Pro R9700, the 9060XT, but then they also added an RX 9060 non-XT. Now, we don't really know too much about this GPU, and it likely does come with just 8 gigabytes of memory, but hopefully it also offers higher memory, just like the 9060XT. But luckily, we likely won't have to wait too long given the fact that they're also just adding support for two GPUs that are already out right now. So it likely is coming fairly soon. With that said, Zen 6 will of course be a little bit longer because we are talking preliminary support here, but it's definitely nice to see that AMD is working hard at releasing their next-gen desktop CPUs. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's next-gen CPUs or are you more excited for their new GPU? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out all those deals down in the description below. And as always, have a great day.